So welcome back everyone to a new Finding Forex video. This video, I'm going to be reacting to Tempest FX and they've done a £5,000 to a 2.2 million Forex account flip in 10 days. Okay. Now I'm not here to slate them. I'm not here to say if it's fake or if it's real, any of that sort of stuff. But... Sam from KB Trading has weighed in on the situation, given us his thoughts, and I'm going to share them with you guys at the end of the video. So, we're going to watch the video, we're going to react to it, and then at the end of it, we're going to weigh in on what Sam from KB Trading thinks, and then we're going to make our own decisions. So, this is the £5,000 to £2.2 million in 10 days Forex account flip. So, let's go. Good. Oh my god. Oh okay. The Forex calendar. So the trade is moving nicely. Uh, you can see we've just taken them lows now. Uh, so that's good. So we just it's just a waiting game, uh, but yeah, we just sat here eating junk food. So you the charts, that's the life. Right, so it's been hours since we played this trade, guys, yeah, so and it's just up. it's just pissing about. Like it's not doing absolutely anything. It did come down quite a bit, so we just it's taken too long now. So. So I think they trade smart money concepts, but just sort of looking, I believe this is sort of going to be a lower time frame, catching a reversal. So if you just look at the, like the market structure here, you got a, a, a like a high there, but then like a lower high, a lower low, lower high, and then sort of we didn't really make a lower low. Um, they must have put this take profit in after it touched these wicks again. So I'm assuming it's come down. They've had a target that's been lower. But then they've seen it's come to this area again and started rejecting. So they've moved their take profit to this area. So <clears throat> I don't know the ins and outs of why they took this trade. Obviously, I'm just basing what I'm seeing and their position on market structure alone. I don't know how they trade. I think they trade smart money concepts. But yeah, so that, that that's sort of a trade breakdown. We've got target for them lows now. We originally was aiming for these lows down here. Yeah. It's just yeah. taking too long. So that's what I said. So yeah, so as he said, there was a lower target, but they had to move it because it, it looked like it was rejecting a specific uh, area. So that is the target now. It is coming down a bit now, to be fair. We did also, we forgot to film, sorry guys, we added another entry we got on. We added 12 more lots when it was in profit. It got a bit risky because the free margin. Um, but yeah, so let's see how this does. We'll keep you updated. Hopefully we hit TP. We are on the way back down now. Come on, boys, getting close to TP now. It's gonna hit. Come on. Always get these. You take profits literally right down in here. Price is just literally bouncing around just above. Happens all the time. Come on. You just want to close Bang. up. Bang. We're faith. out. Let's go. There you go. So. Boom. There we are. Oh, in. It's got like a 15 minute trade. So it's another food. trade. There you are. So, Euro AUD 15 minute time frame. Once again, I can't see why they've got into the trade or not. Um, we are on lower time frames. Maybe it's sort of like a break and a retest sort of thing. I know the smart money concept people also trade that. Like they'll trade the retest of an order block. But the retest of an order block to sort of retail traders, like how I trade, would be sort of a support zone. So. Maybe that's what that is. We'll have to see. Yeah. Shot on here as well. <clears throat> there we go. Looking for these highs up here. Yeah. That'll be the target. So we'll keep you updated as usual. Hopefully another winner today. So this is also on MetaTrader. This isn't like a trade and view dashboard. This is their MetaTrader dashboard. So it would be... It, so this is... I don't know. And th th something interesting that Sam at KB said which we can relate this back to at the end of the video. I haven't personally watched the video yet, but I've seen what Sam at KB said. Right, up down the trade, guys. 
So that news came out of 1.30 for retail sales of dollar. It's actually affected Euro AD quite a bit as well. So as you can see there, lovely fucking lots. stuff, guys. Up 6K. Jesus. Six grand. TP is close. Stop loss is at break even now. Yeah. So hopefully. To a degree, there is some sort of risk management because they are obviously, you know, stop loss to break even. Um, <clears throat> so if the trade was to reverse now, they're going to not lose. It should hit in the next few minutes. Stop loss hit, see? <clears throat> so that's what I'm talking about. So like, if it was to reverse, as sometimes it does, like, you know, they still need to sort of manage their risk. They can't manage their risk really because they're trying to flip five grand into 2.2 .2 million, which is like five grand into even 100 grand. It's just so, 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 so difficult. So let alone 2.2 .2 million. But they do need to risk... Um, or they need to like manage their risk a little bit as well. Annoying, it was very close to uh, take profit. But uh, yeah, we'll look for another trade now. Uh, try getting going again, so we're a bit behind schedule today. All right, let's get in. Found the trade on Euro JPY. 66 lots. Yep, 66 so lots. So we're going to get in this crazy now. crazy on a 30 grand account. Bang, we're in. Let's see how this, we're going to add stop loss night quickly now because it's moving mad. So once again, I'm not, too sure why they've put a buy here if we're just looking at market structure on the one hour maybe i can't see the full picture so maybe on a higher time frame we are in an overall uptrend and they've managed to buy at a discounted price but just looking at what they've done like you got a high here lower high lower low lower low lower high and then like a lower low on these candles so that's just looking at basic market structure i don't know the full context <clears throat> Boys, look at this fucking trade. There we go. Holy shit, this is what we needed. Stand yeah, corrected. This is good. Let's go. 11 point, uh, we haven't added a stop loss, it's in profit because uh, we've been actually, like, we've changed our risk on this. We've actually been a lot more conservative than last time. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not how you properly trade, but for account flip, this, this is, is a lot. Yeah, yeah, this is right, real conservative compared to last time. We've not added a TP yet. <laughs> We just decide on where we're going to go because it's actually rallying right yes. now. Yes, we don't want to leave too much on the table. Yeah. We're going to be greedy at the same time. This is when it kind of starts getting a little bit. I think we actually start recording. If I was doing an account flip now, yes. 12k yeah. up on a 30 grand account well, up, I'll bet you the TP straight up. up. I think. Well, I've added TP on. This is about to hit. Come on. Come on. Fly past it. 14 grand. Let's yeah, go. This is what we needed. Come, Come on. on. Not again. There you go, see? That's why you'd close out. Right, I mean, it we might have come back, the but... take profit to... That's why I'd close this. So account flips, you can't get greedy. Once you see, to a degree, once you see your trade in some real good profits, that's just time to exit. There's no point getting greedy. And like, literally, it, it played out exactly as I said. They put a take profit at quite... If you look at their take profit, they're targeting the very wicks. So they're targeting the point where price literally came in and had a reaction. Now, depending on your broker, you might not get filled at this point price because you got spreads and they widen and all this malarkey so you might actually get filled at a price point so you might need price to push up a little bit higher obviously you can pay to get spreads that are more raw so if like you've got say a, a 10 spread on euro usd you could pay to get it down to like a two spread or something which would obviously be better um but yeah when i saw there was 12 grand up, i'd have taken it and obviously they was getting gassed because they was rallying to their like take profit area and then it's obviously came in reverse so i mean i suppose this is all hindsight i'm just saying what i'd have done to be honest all right guys so we're gonna get trade on uh gp cad we targeted the lows we'll show in a second just worked out the risk 40 percent 126 Six. Six lots fucking hell Boom. bang we're in and we are in let's go lots, let's go up a little bit Go. It should be good. Right, so this is what the balance is at right now. 6.30 I'm UK time. I'm assuming that trade worked out. We have been editing the video for day two. And sorry about that, guys. We've lost a few clips, as you've probably seen in the video we mentioned. We missed a few stop losses hitting. And I think we missed, like, one hitting the target. So here's the history. This is all the trades from the day. So obviously you saw GP, JPY was a loss first loss yet and that was pretty much break even just fees 
your AUD, then the rest of the day, all profits. We're going to try and get one or two more trades today, and that will be it for the day. Um, as you can see, 32,700 profit for the day. And as you can still see, live account. All right, so we are. I just want to add, I'm not saying these fellas are doing it, but all of this can be manipulated. All of it. The whole balance, trades, the full shebang. On 6.40, we are currently traveling. So I'm in the car. So we are. <laughs> Brother has got some crusty nails, you know. Just trim them, mate. Trim them. Get the gunk out, fella. Doing a crazy JPY. 500 lots. 500 lots. So this one will be 2,300 lots. So that's 1,000, that's 1,500. It's about 40% risk, guys. Yeah, 40% risk. And then we want 300 lots. Buy. Oh, it's actually got us in quite quick. So right say so you've used 2300 lots here man crazy guy i mean i suppose they're on a over half a mil account but if you are trading and you are trading probably so if you look at their margin of they got 171 quid you know what i'm saying i say so it's so free margins uh still a quarter of a mil left but yeah <clears throat> Using 2,500 lots is not the one. Um, on the, obviously, I don't want to show the whole video. Um, this is just like a highlight reel. <clears throat> but they were saying that you have to, to get the 500 lots, you have to contact your broker and ask them to do that. Because I'm pretty sure like 100 is the max or something. Or like you can put on any one trade. So if you wanted to do like 500, you'd have to do like 5, 100, I think. I've never really done it because I manage my risk. So. Oh, That's crazy. And these are the trades. So we've been looking for this wicked high up here, but we'll see what we get. Uh, see what it gives us. But um, yeah, hopefully it gives us something nice. Right. So update on the trade. As you can see, even something it's going like that very well already would be crazy. Up, profits, guys, see. Let's fucking go. Boom. This is what the account needed. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. It's been slow these <laughs> past couple of days, but my god. And last Friday. The heat um, has turned up now. This should put us to hopefully a mil, guys. Which is fucking crazy. Yes. We should be in this trade like, like what, 10 minutes? Yeah, literally. What's the time now? It's 3.34. So let's fucking go. We'll keep you updated. Oh, 200k now. Let's go. Oh, shit. That's probably only Fuck. like 10 it's pips running, in boys. Let's fucking go. Ten pips look into that high overall. That high will be nice for one uh, there. If not, but hopefully... We can see the overall one here, and that'll be brilliant. Yeah, that'll be a lot of money, guys. Ah, uh, boys, the equity has now hit Half one mil. fucking million. Let's go. We're Let's starting to go, guys. trade with We're fire now, boys. Four hundred and forty k. Half a mil up and This is what we running. needed. This today has really clutched the account. Obviously, we was really struggling oh, to get shit. over. Oh shit! It's pushing. Fuck, oh, boys, this is massive. We're over five hundred k. Oh, look at that. That's a good idea. I'd be moving though. my stop loss to break Where's even the now. Target or we'll be the taking high. the. Oh, we haven't set a TP. Money off we the said table. about that highway, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright. Oh, we'll probably get that set up now. We're going to focus for a little bit, boys, and uh, we'll keep you updated. We're about to fucking hit, guys. Come on! The 15 minute candle. Is your brightness up? There's now. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, please. What's it saying? Oh, so what's that? 520k, guys. Oh, this would be a this fucking trade. huge. This would be such a clutch <laughs> trade. Fuck me. Come on. Oh, shit. Please hit. Come on. It's about to. It's about to hit. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking go. go. 1.2 mil. mil. History. Boys. Look at that. All blues, baby. Good day today. 750. Started off slow, didn't it? Oh, mate. <laughs> Ever since we uh, that Euro AUD trade on Thursday last week, the, it's been slow. <laughs> yeah. We have been slow. Do you guys see what... So, like, this is genuinely, like, the power of Forex. Like, th this, though unlikely, is very possible. And I'm not saying you're going to make 750 grand, but, like, you compare it to other things, right? So, I've made before in a one trade that lasted literally about 45 minutes i've made like 1700 pounds right 
if I was to try and do that on a nine to five job, I'd probably have to work an entire month or, you know, depending on your job. If you was just to work a normal box standard job, you'd be working an entire month for that salary. Um, but trades like that don't come around often. And I was trading on a hundred K FTMO account. So it's not like I was trading on my own with 10,000 pounds or in their case, uh, whatever their equity was at, like just over half a mil, like 630 odd thousand. So yeah, I'll let you guys decide what you think. Is this legit? Let me know down in the comments. I'll be so So guys, it's this. a new day now. Um, we've got a few things to talk over in this real quick. So yesterday you saw we placed that NZD JPY trade, didn't we? And that was a piss take trade. That was back and forth, back oh, and forth, terrible. wasn't it? So we'll show you that in a second. Just before market closed though, we ended up closing out at, uh, what was it, profit in the end? 30 something thousand? Yeah, 33,000. So hardly anything. And in the start of the video, guys, we said to you we was only going to do the first week, but we wanted to make this video really special for you guys. So we continued. It's now like, I think this is like, what is it? It's like third week in, but we've not traded for yeah. three weeks. So we've, been, we've not traded every day. So that's why we, we took our time with it, guys, a lot, because it's got really big. We wanted it to be really good for you guys, and we just wanted to take this quite far. So we didn't want to just end it. And uh, that's why we've been taking our time, because you guys can see it's not being easy. Like you can see from this, from the footage we've shown you, and it's days and days later since we've... It's not been that easy um, to get loads of trades. And uh, especially now we're big, we don't want to just be forcing trades on, on the account. So we'll show you the history now from the trade yesterday. Anyway. Always do that, never force so, trades. So as you can see, still the same account. If we go on to the history, go on the week. There you go, here's the end of the JPY Nearly trades Nearly a mil up. Um, on, the, on the week, nearly a mil up. Guys. So really... Not much, count. and the balance is 1.3 mil. See what that's saying. See so, guys, we found a trade for the day. Uh, we're about to first trade of the day, which is the driving range. We're about to sell EURUSD, 50% risk. So, we need 11 trades here. That's 5,500 lots. Three, Fuck me. 5,500 lots, man. Never trade like this, four, boys and girls. Five. Six. They're probably having some influence on the market. Like, Seven. if this is legit and you're risking, like, what, over half a mil, you're probably having some guys, sort of influence on the market. Go. Here we go. Here's a trade. TPs are on. Um, Obviously, I know trillions so are traded, see, but 500 grand. 20, you know, 30, 40, that doesn't 50. go unnoticed. 60, <laughs> uh, 60k right now. Oh, two mil. There we go. Hey. So we have seen it over mil. already. Uh, yes. We've been keeping a close eye on it while... Uh, well, Jamie Roswell. Just... Now, this is, this is sort of where I have my discrepancies because I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been trading for years. Um, I've had huge winners, huge losers. Most of the time, in fact, all the time, I've got my promotions under control. However, if I've turned five grand into two milli, you already know I am going to gas up. I'm going to fucking shit myself and, like, buy just, like, three houses because I can swingers and balls uh, um driving range um yeah it sounded a bit <laughs> um you know what i mean guys um but yeah we'll keep you updated guys this should hit tp soon um, hopefully this is the last this, trade Ooh. i think we're going to be happy with this balance and i think we're going to decide we've both decided because it's been yeah, going a bit long. like long lately it's just been slow and not many many trades took long that's why i want to make it entertaining for you guys so we took our time with it. We said one week in the intro. It's been longer than that. So we think we're going to call it after this trade, if it hits TP, that is, anyway. Um, so we'll be happy. It'll be over 2 mil. So that's crazy. We've surpassed last time. I can't give words, guys, how crazy this is. Like, I thank every one of you guys as well for the support on the, like, from the start when we started this channel. But we're going to head off now and uh, we'll keep you updated. All right, guys. So it is coming down beautifully. Let's go, guys. Sales are fucking winning. Look at that. Boom. Two point two mil. mil. So let's fucking go, guys. Oh shit. Oh. Please, this is the last trade. Come on. This Come on. Finish here. Go. Yes. yes. What's it's the other? Two point two five million. Let's fucking go, guys. You count. Yeah, we're we're calling this done. Up, I would yeah, say. Let's yeah, call no it. more. Right, that's the account flip. 
5,000 to 2.2 milli or 2.25 milli like do you know what I mean there's still a quarter of a million there on top of the 2 million they've already banked so now we're going to see what Sam at KB Trading thinks of the situation so this is what Sam at KB Trading said Tempest Effect allegedly turned 5k into 2.2 million in 10 days is this legit let's investigate <clears throat> On the surface, something like this seems incredible. Proof of a live account connected to my effects book looks right. Not so fast. <clears throat> Firstly, the broker. The broker used here happens to be their partner broker, Mugen Markets. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with using a broker you work with. That would be perfectly normal. But let's look at the broker itself. Mugen Markets opened in 2022. It was formerly known as IMGFX. <laughs> This is a review saying new IMG effects isn't Ed, still want them, I'm not joining the broker and never want to warn people. IMG effects are operated with no regulations raising concerns for client security and protection of funds. And then it says obviously here. IMG FX is a broker firm that operates with out valid regulations which raises concerns about the safety and security of traders' funds. The absence of overnight means that there is no recognized financial authority or regulatory body in monitoring the operations of IMGFX. This is not, I would like to add though, this is, there is plenty of trusted brokers who aren't regulated. Okay, so <clears throat> that's just to throw that out there. Ed Zimbardi, the owner of Mugen Markets, formerly IMGFX, was accessed a little over a year ago for manipulating MT4 through the back end servers. So, manipulating mod, uh, MT4 through the back-end servers, like I said on the video, stuff can be manipulated. Something we've seen many times before with shady brokers using their own servers, they can input winning or losing trades fairly easily. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of, obviously, manipulating MT4 and using back-end servers. However, I trust... Sam at KB Trading's judgment, and obviously, if he says it's fairly easy, I could imagine that it's not not too difficult. And obviously, if you've got a financial incentive, which is signups, commissions, all that sort of stuff, um, you can make it as easy as you like. Uh, someone left a review. Scam. The guy behind this broker, Ed Zimbardi, is a conman. He recently changed his own T's and C's to stop people withdrawing their money, and ironically, just before each withdrawal date, both. Pam and accounts were blown. Back in February, he proved he can manipulate and change things in our MT4 accounts by adding several losses which wiped out all profits. Profits we had already paid and shares for traders for. We were told we would not be refunded for the overpayment and we made uh, the overpayment we made um, and we had to just deal with it. Ed is a sociopath, manipulative, rude and aggressive. Do not invest in anything with this man. He will take your money and run. So, when you're thinking in the context of these traders deposited 5k, turns into 2.2 million, and then you're seeing uh, reviews like this, it does, I would say, raise concerns about the authenticity of this account flip. Okay, he goes on to say. Uh, until the end of 2022, we find reviews accusing the owner of fraud, lies, and manipulation. Once again, this is just fraud, lies, and manipulation. Uh, fast forward to today, Mugen is located in offshore and holds no significant regulation. Further, multiple trusted sources such as WikiFX uh, and uh, Forex brokers have rated this broker 1.47 and 1 out of 5. So, barely even... A star and sometimes a star and a bit. Not looking good. Right. And then he put, so to conclude, we set out to see whether this five point or this five K to two point two million ten days was legit. We've discovered Mugen is a partner broker of Tempest Effects. Uh, Mugen is a rebrand broker of IMG Effects, which was known for manipulating team MT4 profits and defrauding people. Mugen is located in offshore and holds no regulation. It is possible that this broker has manipulated, ma manipulated MT4 results for an affiliate, Tempest, in the hopes of getting a viral video and generating huge revenue signups, like I said earlier. In my humble opinion, that's exactly what happened here. So, what do you guys think? Is this legit? 
Or do you think that Tempest FX partner broker is a scam and they've done this to get money? There's the MyFX book, Telegram, Instagram, and then there's the broker that we used. So you guys make your own decision and let me know down in the comment section below.